let us go back to the crossroads where there is true and genuine love in the church where the fear of the lord is in the church <laughs> are the people that god wants to use to restore his church <laughs> together we stand divided with god. hello 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 my people how are you all doing i hope you all are feeling great win today win tomorrow and win all the time in today's video my people oh i'm so happy I you know to share this uh, you know to share this video with you all you know this particular video touched my heart and I just want to share it uh, with you all different men of God ministered uh, during the conference organized by wise man Daniel and his team the um, conference was held in Botswana, that's uh, they call it Botswana for Christ, a crusade. The conferences were packed with many teachings and lessons to go home with. On this particular day of the conference, this man of God, Prophet Alpha, brief teaching drew my attention. Why is man Daniel and his team organized this program so that the men of God in Africa can unite as one. Just as his mentor, uh, late senior prophet T.B. Joshua wrote in one of his songs, Africa unite. We need each order, we need one another to grow. Okay, now hear what Prophet Alpha said. We should live by example and practice what we preach. He called for unity in the body of Christ. Because some Christians does not like one another. No love and caring among us. We should lead by example. We should practice what we preach. The true love of Jesus should be seen in the church and ask God to heal us before we can go to heal his people. God should start with us. The Bible says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Prophet Alpha says, the true love of Jesus Christ should be seen in the church. Men of God should support each other. If you see your fellow brethren who is not doing well, give a helping hand instead of gossip. Show love to one another, my people. Pastors, pray for people without expecting gifts and tithe from your congregants. Don't chase people away from the church due to your beggings of earthly things. Instead, Draw more souls to Christ. As the prophet said, be there for God's people when they need you as their pastor, their prophets, their prophetess, their bishops, their uh, prophet, and their reverend. Together we stand, divided we fall. Revival must start from the church. Men of God, have to practice what they preach. As Archbishop Benson Idahosa said during one of his uh, preaching, God is tired of those who use his name in vain. God is tired of commercial messages. You should show example of what you preach. Teach your church as a pastor or man of God, how to love. Let there be love among us. The needy and the poor people around you need your support. Do not overlook them. Show them love and support. God is great that he had given us the opportunity to have some of these uh, men of God, like uh, late senior prophet T.B. Joshua and late Archbishop Benson Idahosa. These men of God preach love, 
showed love and a shared love. Prophet T.B. Joshua also gave us an example in one of his sermons that love can make a king abdicate his throne. Just like what happened in the royal family between Prince Harry and Meghan. I love you spoken from the heart, as Prophet uh, T.B. Joshua said, can change your destiny. Nothing is as strong as love. So let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in the church. The love has to start from the church. As a Christian, practice what you hear from the Bible. Be the doers of the word of God. Do what God says you should do and live by example. Living by example is you practice what the Bible says. Bible says love one another as you love yourself. So practice what you hear and practice what you teach. Thank you very much for watching this particular message. God bless you all. Remain blessed. Tara, bye-bye. Let you be love shared among us. Let there be love in our hearts. May now your love sweep this nation. Give us a fresh understanding of brotherly love that is real. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our hearts. May your love sweep this nation. Let there be love. Let there be peace shared among us. Let there be peace in our hearts. Let there be peace sweep this nation. Let there be.